Hey guys, it's your girl Shady Lane 2121. Yes, I know it's been a minute since I put up a video. Well, I put up one this morning about how I dyed my hair, and that was like a month old, and I meant to upload that about a month ago. Um, as you can see, I've been gone. I got some uh, new additions while I was gone. Like those? Yep. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Anyways, um, my girl, Miss uh, One Sexy Tina One, she's on a weight loss journey um, as well, and she was talking about doing some lipo, and she was also talking about, sorry guys, my eyelashes, she was talking about, you know, some of the previous uh, surgeries that she's had, and um, I myself, being a mother of four, can relate to some of those things. I've never had to have gastric bypass or, you know, anything like that. I've never been to that type of weight where I've had to have any type of assistance that way. However, after having four kiddos and breastfeeding, you lose a lot of volume. So I'm going to stop the video right here and just say that this video is going to be about plastic surgery and breast augmentation and if you are against that or don't want to hear about that or have you know crazy stuff to say about you know breast augmentation whoop 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 then just stop here and just exit and have a good day thank you for coming have a nice day so if you stayed then obviously you want to see what I'm talking about so anyways I'm 31 years old um, doing the Nutri system, I've lost a lot of weight. I've wanted a breast augmentation since, oh gosh, probably about uh, 10 years ago. Uh, Clay has always been very much against me getting a uh, breast augmentation. I uh, just thought that, you know, I was fine with my natural me, which, you know, that's cool. I appreciate that. But I have to be the one that's comfortable with my body as well. And I just have not been. So, as I said, um, having four kids, I felt very deflated, and losing weight is not helping the situation. I've lost 13 pounds. I'll do an update on that. I've lost 13 pounds in the last month and a half, and so when I started out, you know, the highest I've been is a 34 double D. I'm now down to a 34B or C. Does it look like that now, does it? No, I did not have surgery, guys. Um, what I have on are <laughs> rice sizers. So see, big difference. Big difference. So, I don't wear these in public. I'll talk about these in a minute. So I have decided after many, many years and uh, Clay has decided that he's on board to have a augmentation, which I am definitely stoked for. I will be having it the day after Easter, and I am just so happy, so excited, but yet so nervous. Um, I know people will say people that you know have plastic surgery are vain, or you know they just are shallow. Call it what you want. I'm just trying to fix something that's broke, in my opinion, and if I can do that, then I'm going to do it. Um, I've tried push-ups, I've tried exercises, I've tried creams, I've tried pills, I've tried all kinds of stuff, and nothing's going to work like a surgery is going to work. So that is what I've decided to do, and for me, that's the right option. For you, that might not be the right option. But for me, it's come all these years, taken all these years to finally get to this point. And, you know, I've done a lot of research and this is just what's good for me. So, yeah. So, right now, like I said, I'm a 32B or C. I will be going into surgery. At this point, what I'm thinking that I'm going to have is a crease incision, which means that they will put the implant under the crease of your breast here. And it's usually a small incision about yay big, um, usually no more than an inch. On each side, I'm going underneath the muscle uh, because I just like the look of that better. Also, the fact that if you need to get a mammogram, your monthly breast exams 
are easier to detect any lumps or abnormalities if you go under the muscle versus going over the muscle. Um, you can also choose to get a areola incision, which is around your nipple. They make like a half, half circle and they go in through that. Some doctors will do a transaxillary, which is through your armpit, and just a small incision there. Um, but some doctors don't like it because they say you don't have enough area to really see where you're placing the implant and that can cause difficulties and cause um, different complications. There's also some doctors that do the tuber procedure which is going through your belly button and up your chest and into your breast. So for me, I have enough tissue to where a crease incision will not be noticeable. I really don't want any incisions on my areola. I just don't want any sensation issues there. Although most people don't lose their sensation, there is that possibility. There's even a sensation of losing your, um, your sensitivity on your nipples with going under the crease. But I think there's less of that chance with going under. What type of implant will I be getting? As of right now, I will be getting the saline implant. I went back and forth between saline and the new silicone. Right now, the silicone is a lot safer than it was years ago. When I felt them in the office, they were so soft. They felt like regular tissue. And they were a cohesive gel. He had them. You can cut them open. The gel's not going to go anywhere. But the downside of the silicone is that some doctors are saying that you need to get an MRI every three to four years to make sure that your implant is still in place because with the silicone with the cohesive gel, let's say you get a rupture of a cohesive gel, you won't be able to tell. And it could slowly, you know, over time, you know, maybe seep into your system just a little bit, but it's very gooey. So they want you to get an MRI every three to four years to make sure it's not open because otherwise you won't know you have anything wrong. As with a um, saline implant, you're going to know right away if you deflate. You're going to know it's going to, you're going to be able to tell a significant difference in your breast and know, hey, I need to go and see the plastic surgeon right away. Also, if there's a leak, they fill them with saline, which your body will just absorb and is not toxic to your body. So those are the things that I thought about and the things that Clay had concerns about as well was the safety of the implant and so that's why we decided to go with saline. Also, since I'm going behind the muscle and I have enough tissue to cover the implant, really you're not going to be able to tell too much difference between a silicone and between a saline. Also, you can't really tell a difference when you're looking at someone whether they have saline or whether they have silicone. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, then we go into, well, what size do you want to be? I pretty much want to go back to my double D's. So, when you are looking into plastic surgery, there are things that we call rice sizers. And you can make these at home. And basically what you do is you will get rice and you fill them up in little stockings with certain amounts of cc's or cups of rice and that is equal to what a implant would be in your doctor's office so that way you can try them in your bra different sizes so you can kind of get a feel for what size implant you may might want now the ones that i filled up these are about 630 cc's i believe um equivalent and so they're, they look pretty big, but what you have to remember is one, when you're trying on sizers, they're not going to look the same as when they're in your body, obviously, because you're putting them in your bra and you're lifting up and you're kind of maneuvering and stuff like that. These are going to be in your body. They're going to be under your muscle. And a lot of plastic surgeons say that you're going to lose 50 cc's of volume going under the muscle once you go in um, because it, you know it's going to press down and everything like that. So, that is why I decided, when I first went into the office, I tried on a couple of sizes. I tried on, I think, like 350, 400, 450, 500, and the 800s. I never tried on the 600s, but I'm having something now as my surgery gets closer called booby greed, where 
you're starting to think, you know what, I'm paying all this money. I want to make sure I get the most bang for my buck. However, I don't want to look like Dolly Parton or Pamela Anderson. You know, that's just not the style that I'm going for. Losing weight, I'm down to 140 pounds today, which is the lowest I have been in probably 10 years. Haven't seen 140 in forever. Forever. My goal is to get down to 130, wait, 133 before surgery. So I have 7 more pounds to lose before April 9th. Today is March 15th or 16th. I can't remember one of those. So, I have to take into consideration that I have a smaller frame. If you put your finger around your wrist, you'll see that if you can cup it, you have a small frame. I have a small frame, so I don't want to be huge. I want something to balance out my butt and just kind of, you know, look good in those shirts and dresses and stuff when I want to be able to, you know, be like not have to wear a super push-up bra. Being that I have four kids, I do have a little bit of a slope, but nothing that I need a lift for. One of the plastic surgeons said I could get a lift, but I'm just, I don't want those extra scars. So I decided to go with a little bit larger implant and forego getting any type of lift. If I need one down the line, that's fine. I'll come to that bridge later, but right now I don't really need one. So at this point, I think I'm going to go with the 600cc saline crease incision implant. So that should take me to about a double D which is where I was before. Also, if you look at some implant videos, double D's in implants don't look as big as natural double D's for some reason. I don't know if it's just the way that it's distributed, but yeah, so they don't look as big. So it's like I say 600 cc's and that sounds like a lot. When I started out, I was like, oh, that's a lot. I would not do that. But then once I started trying on sizers and things like that, then I was like, you know, it's really not that big and looking at pictures. So this would be, you know, about the size of a 600 saline. So anywho, I was hesitant on whether I was going to put this video up or not because it's just a very personal, you know, situation. And you guys know me. I try to keep it real with you guys 100% all the time. So I saw one sexy Tino one and I was like, you know what? To hell with it, you know. You guys are gonna notice when you see me like tell. So I might as well make it something educational for everybody, and maybe other people have questions. Maybe this will help other people. So I can do some videos answering questions for you guys, and you know, do my follow up on pre op, post op, all that good stuff in other videos, and like go on profiles and sizes and different stuff, and just do a whole little series on it because you know, there's a lot of people that are interested in getting implants and. I don't see anything wrong with it, obviously, because I'm getting them. But, so anyway, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Put that out there. Say what's cracking. Um, that's where I've been, mainly. I haven't been making videos. I haven't been doing much of anything except for working and then coming home and looking at booby websites and saying, okay, I like those or I like those or researching on complications or researching on, you know, other people's stories. And I, that's constantly what I've just been swimming in is boobs. All day, just boobs, just boobs. I'm on my phone, I'm looking for boobs. So, um, I tend to get overwhelmed with things easily and I just like latch on. So right now I'm latched on to boobs. So, anywho, so I'm going to load this video up and you guys tell me if you guys have any questions or whatnot, what your thoughts are, what your opinions are. Have you ever had plastic surgery? Have you had augmentation? How was your experience? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Leave all of your comments below and um, yeah, talk to you guys later. Deuces.